All right, gang. There's an old saying talking about uh, how to boil a frog. So you get a pot of hot water, it's boiling, and you throw that frog in there, and he's going to jump out. But if you put the frog in there and you steadily increase the temperature of the water, if it starts off cool, he never notices he's getting boiled. I told you that to tell you this. I was talking with a guy yesterday, the day the before sometime this week. He said he was lactose intolerant. This guy's in his 40s. I said, how are you lactose intolerant? All that cereal and milk we used to eat and drink on Saturday mornings watching cartoons. It never blew up then. Maybe it's not us that's changed. Maybe it's the, it's the lactose that's in change, the milk. Cows are still the same, other than they're pumping hormones and all kind of other stuff into them. Maybe that's what, we're not lactose intolerant, we're the shit that's in milk intolerant. It's just a thought. You see on TV, antacid commercials and Zantac company or whatever it is and all these other companies pumping these antacids and people running around with ulcers and, and all kinds of unbelievable stuff in their stomach. And you think back, if you're old enough, the big thing that everybody does is they drink sodas. Soda companies in the 80s, I know some of my viewers aren't old enough to remember the 80s, soda companies changed the recipes. It went from New Coke and Coke 2 and Pepsi 1 and Pepsi 2 and New Pepsi and all that. Well, they changed the recipes and then they said they went back to the original, but they didn't go back to the original. They changed them and they left them changed because they made more money selling Coke and Pepsi at, with the new cheaper stuff, more preservatives. Maybe that's what's giving everybody ulcers. Just a little food for thought. What I'm telling you is, watch what you eat and drink and don't get boiled. Like, share, subscribe, comment. This is Mo Dammit, Tire Creek Ironworks out.